morning, everybody. My name is Darlene, and I have Parkinson's. And I feel so much better today than I did yesterday. I went to the dentist. I couldn't believe it, but she actually has watched my channel. And she knew from another visit that I had had there that I had lost weight and, and that I was moving a little better than I was before that. And she was the most gentle person that you could imagine. And I wanted to give her a shout out. And I'm going to put a couple pictures in in a little bit here just so you'll, you'll be able to see who she is. Um, if you happen to live in the Calgary area, I would highly suggest that you should go and visit her if you have dentist needs because I'm terrified of the dentist. And if I can go, anybody can go, let me tell you. Her name is Dr. Sherry Gurgis. Gargis, Gurgis, I'm not exactly sure. It's G-U-I-R-G-I-S. And she's she's very lovely. Oh, the whole staff is very lovely. She's at the Penbrook Dental Family Dentistry. And she is very nice. And they were very reasonable. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, just sort of choked a little bit there. Um, the, the, they were so reasonably priced, really. And... Um, because I have no medical coverage or dental coverage on that. So um, I was very, very pleased with it. And she, I can't say enough about her. She was so nice. And the young girl who was helping do the x-ray and handing the instruments to her, they were all very, very pleasant. And they made it so much easier for me than it, it has been at other places. So I wanted to share that and, and say thank you very much to her. So Sherry, if you're watching, thank you again. I'm going to just stop here for a second. I'm going to insert a couple of pictures and then I'll come back. You're doing remarkably well staying still. Uh huh, yeah. Okay, so I've got those pictures to be inserted here. I'm waiting for my son and, and his wife and their little one, Finn, to come over for a visit. Um, Cal was going to do a couple of things for me that I didn't, didn't want to do, found them difficult to do. Um, I was cleaning the Venetian blinds is one of them. And the oven is the other one. So he said that they would come over and do that. And uh, so I'm looking forward to having a little visit with Finn while they're doing that. And um, hopefully it doesn't take him too long. You know, I don't want him to have to work too hard. He's going back to work on Monday and uh, whatnot. But I, I figured he could always use a couple of bucks and, you know, gives, gives me a chance to stop doing something for a while. I showed you a little bit around y yesterday, but you know, I didn't do a very good job of it because I wasn't moving well. So I'm going to try and show you a little bit more here. I am so pleased with how it is. Okay, hopefully I can do this. Okay, I'm gonna turn. All right. Now, this is the kitchen area. And, oh, go flames, go. Anyway, this is the kitchen area. Now I've got um, the, what was there that I gave away? Something was there that I gave away. And I can't even remember what it was. Shows how often I must have used it. I don't know. But something was there. Oh, it was the instant pot. I, I wasn't using it, so I gave it to Cal and Ashley. And then we come along here. I've cleaned a few things off the counter. This corner here, there's not much I can do about it because, you know, I need all of those things. And, and there's my mix master. Now we come down here. And you see we've got the child locks on the doors and the magnets to play with. And now I'm going to show you in here. Now we've changed this a little bit because we were having trouble getting the scooters out of this garage. Okay, turn the light on. We were having trouble getting the scooters out. So we changed it. This room now has Bill's scooter and my mop bucket. And then it has my wheelchair and my walker. So that makes it easier for us to do getting those things out of there. And we'll turn it around here. 
Okay, now when we come out, we have the water cooler. We have the table placed like this because we don't open this other door very often. And the, then the small refrigerator that's just sort of like a pop refrigerator. This here is my pantry now. It's a... Uh, whoops. I messed it up, I'm sorry. Okay, there's my... I did the upper pantry there. And I have... Oh, I can't open the lower pantry because we've got a child doors closed and I can't open them. I'm locked out of my own drawers. <laughs> okay, then over here, this is where I sit. We've got a little table here. So if somebody wants to pull a chair up, they've got a table, a fan, the TV. This is my corner. It looks junky, but it's not. It really isn't. This is all my pretties right here. Sitting right beside me. There's my all my turtle collection with everybody, including Myrtle. And then this is Bill's area. And this is his computer area now. We'll just turn around this way. And here we've got a bookshelf with DVDs. And lo and behold, Carl. He greets us when we come in. And then we'll go into the bedroom. The bathroom I showed you the other day. We haven't changed anything in there. So in here, i got to try and put this light on. If this light isn't working, we're repair. I keep turning the thing off by accident. Okay, so when we came in the door, we had the deep freeze. Now we've got my bell is, is parked right there with the deep freeze and Bill's dresser. And then when I come around this way, there's the beds with my craft table and my dresser. So that's how we've got it all laid out now. And I think that, I'm gonna turn you back around. I think it's gonna work out really well. And it's, you know, there's a limited amount to what we can do when we have 600 square feet and all the devices that we have. So we've done the best that we can. And I think that even if I'm, I'm not 100% happy the way it is, I am, I, I know everything's been cleaned and I'm just tickled pink that I've got it done. I'm glad it's over with, but now the kids will come and do the last couple of little jobs I want and Bob's your uncle, we're happy. I wanted to tell you just a real quick little story today. We talk, I, I phoned my Auntie Beth last night She's the one whose recipe was for Wheaton. And I told her that I was going to tell a story today and I wanted her permission to tell it. And um, she said, sure, no problem. When they first came to Canada, she's from Ireland. When they first came to Canada, um, they wanted to buy lotto tickets the way everybody here was buying lotto tickets. So there was a, a provincial lottery that you could get in British Columbia. This was many years ago. But there was a provincial lottery called the Provincial and you could win prizes, like um, money prizes, or actual prizes, like my dad won a re cam recorder one time, actual prizes. And there's one, one thing that you could get that gave you five tickets for the next month, okay? And then you called it a pouch, and you got five more tickets, and you know people loved getting that. And then there was this one big grand prize. You could win a Porsche. Well... That was a pretty fancy car, you know. So anyway, Aunt Beth, she goes and she gets her provincial ticket. And they were all sitting around that Saturday night waiting for the draw. Sure enough, the, the numbers come up on the television. And she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she says, Dan, I won a Porsche. I won the car. And Uncle Dan says, you did not. She says, I did there's all the numbers. And he looked. Sure enough, there was all the numbers. So she gets on the phone and she phones mom and she says, Francis, you tell Harold I won that Porsche. Mom says, you couldn't have. She says, I did. I've got all the numbers. Well, anyway, the numbers that she had won her a pouch. So she had won five tickets. She hadn't won a car at all. <laughs> so we always tease her about her pouch and her Porsche. <laughs> Anyway, thank you, Aunt Beth, for a good laugh. All right, thank you very much for joining me today, and I'll see you all tomorrow.